so what I've been seeing a lot of lately is YouTubers promoting products and their videos. They'll do like a small segment of their video where they promote a product like maybe some toothpaste or some shoes. Maybe a Kindle e reader or something like that. And the whole video won't be about the advertisement, it'll just be a part, of, a small part of that video will be an advertisement. And they're getting money from this, and I think it's a bit ridiculous. Like, I would never sell out and do brand deals. I mean, Unless it was Burger King, because I do love burgers, and um, I love Whoppers at Burger King, so if Burger King wanted to start, um, sponsor me, but that would be different. It's like food, it's a necessity. You can't do much without eating anything, so. And I guess the other um, option would be um, those blankets that you can wear as a shirt. They have sleeves and they have a, a hole where your head goes through. And they're really comfy. I could use one of that and I could probably endorse that company. Another thing is that I'm not sure, like, depending on how far technology and civilization comes along with sex robots, I might have to endorse one of those, but. But of course I wouldn't do it on video if you know what I mean. Because that'd be kinda gross so but that's something I could get behind, but I'm definitely not a seller. And um so as you can see in this video I'm doing a little gum chewing. And um I'm chewing this gum here. Whoops. Not sure if you can see that. It's by the brand 5, it's Watermelon Prism. It's tasty stuff. And um, just doing a whispering, and I'm just gonna you know, tell you about um, work and stuff like that. And, um, actually, one of my subscribers and a good friend, his name's Ethan, he uh, recommended that I front load my videos basically. So I put the jokes at the very front of the video. So I decided to put that joke in the front of the video. I'll see how well the video does because of that. And, but, um, because it can be better for audience retention and stuff like that. If you bring the value in the beginning of the video, maybe the uh, viewer will stick around and watch it, you know what I mean? But, um, I was gonna make a subscriber requested video. Um, it was um, the request was to read a Wikipedia article, and um, read a Wikipedia article and talk about Dubai. Um, Wikipedia article about Dubai, of course, and um, and then while uh, I think whispering too, he wanted and uh, while eating a burger. with you I have been busy because um, there was this huge snowstorm um, in the area that I live in and the snow like it just got a ton of snow and the highways were closed and um, at work the managers didn't want us driving home and they wanted us to be able to work the next day, so they put a lot of the staff into uh, hotel rooms. And um, not only that, but um, some chalets, I guess, too. A chalet, in case you know, it was like a cabin, so. And because um, I work at a resort, I am with them. Um, hotel rooms and cabins and stuff like that for rent and timeshare and um so yeah I mean um I was in charge 
of uh, one line in charge of so my job at the resort is uh, I'm doing front desk front desk agents so I check people and check people out make reservations and stuff and one of the jobs I had was to make reservations for people for the some of the staff and um, because of the snowstorm and I kind of fucked up I uh, I went ahead and gave out a lot of the double queens and the worms of two queen beds to people who were just staying in there by themselves so and then there was a couple of staff members who wanted a double queen I couldn't give it to them so I don't know what I was thinking I guess people yeah but I made that mistake guys I don't really have much excuses for that but okay, but I mean it wasn't the worst thing in the world the rooms with one king bed or one queen bed also have below couches so they're not completely screwed plus there's an option of sharing a king bed which isn't the worst thing in the world then either but I guess I could empathize with people who don't want to share a king bed even with if it's the co-worker but um I actually got put in a chalet a two bedroom cedar bungalow chalet it was me and um this new front desk agent that's working with me now and um the chalet was nice I was going to show you videos but I didn't think to take my camera with me so I took some videos on my uh, cell phone of the chalet but the thing is I used to be able to transfer the photos and uh, videos by a program called or maybe it's called an application called Dropbox I don't know if you've heard of it but basically like it's handy because you can take one device like your cell phone you go on Dropbox put the uh, images or videos on the on your Dropbox, like on, on the internet. Then you go on any computer, basically log in there with the internet, log into Dropbox, take your photos and it, uh, download your photos and images and videos. Put them on that computer. So I did take some videos, but Dropbox was acting up, it wasn't working, so working like I used to so but um yeah but that was nice though I'd be um we um were in the chalet we were watching this super um kind of I don't know what to call it it was like, like a girly movie like for um, young girls or perhaps like children I don't know but it was a movie about starring Amanda Bynes and it was about the sorority and actually had some good parts but I just started watching that on Netflix over here in the Shelly after work me and this guy that I work with who was sharing the Shelly with me we each had our own bedroom but um but one thing I thought was kind of interesting is that you know you can tell the movies like for children and stuff like that and then but it's like there were these evil I don't want to spoil too much of the video and I forget the title sorry but um, there was like these the bad people were like this uh, leader of the sorority she was like mean and uh, conniving and I think I know what conniving means anyway it's a pretty big word but I'm not sure but like you know she was just uh, had it out for people 
for no reason. And, um, <laughs> and the, <laughs> the main character was the, the good person, and it was fair and stuff like that. And, but I remember they're having a conversation with the, the protagonist, or the, the good lady, was having a conversation with the mean girl. And the good girl says to the mean girl, You're a bitch. <laughs> said something else too, like she had more to say than that, but <laughs> it just caught me off guard and I laughed because it was supposed to be like this, uh, there was no swearing really like before that, I didn't know, it's supposed to be this kid's movie and stuff like that, and she just drops the, if you, can you call it the b-bomb, I don't know, and he's like, yeah, you know, fucking bitch, and I don't think she said fucking actually, but would be even funnier if she did. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, my uh, guy I was staying with, he made uh, the scrambled like rap, like, because he actually transferred over to this position that's a front desk agent, like me. Because before he was working at the resort, he was working in the restaurant, he's a chef. Um, he made this breakfast wrap, which was like, I don't know what kind of spices he put in it, but I have to admit it's way better than the breakfast wrap that I make. So, um, but he also he gave me half his wrap, so that was nice one, but. Been a bit of drama at work lately, um, not involving me, but a couple co workers fighting on the uh, front desk. And, but I shouldn't go too much into it because I don't want to talk about people's personal affairs on here and stuff like that. It's not fair, really. So. But at work um, the other day, it was stressful because it was like 4 o'clock in the afternoon because of the snowstorm. People were checking in and checking out at the same time. Four o'clocks are check-in time, eleven o'clocks are check-out time. And so we had people checking out early, like a day early at four p.m., and people were trying to check in at four o'clock as well. And the phone was ringing, and there was emails and text messages. Man, oh man, it was. And I, my boss called me, and she's like. You need to make a room for your front desk coworkers and the night audit person. I had to make that reservation. Um, so I had to do that as well. And this coworker I had put on break and um, and the stress level was right up here. It was uh, very high for me. And people were noticing this one person called to make a solder my dome. And, um, and he said, Matt, Matt, you sound like you're busy. <laughs> so he could tell that I was stressed out, I think. I think he was just being nice about it. And then a little bit later, a coworker came in and she's like, Matt, don't look so stressed out. <laughs> so, well, I just, I mean, I was, I was pretty stressed out, I tell you. But, um, yeah, people wanted, like, special deals because of the snowstorm. They, so we gave them, like, rooms which for $99, which sometimes our rooms go for, like, $250 or more, so. Um, yeah, so we had to figure that out, and, uh, yeah, it was pretty tough, and people were canceling, a lot of people were canceling the reservations, and we had to cancel them free of charge, because it's not their fault, because of the snowstorm, it's like, no. but, um, yeah, maybe you might notice I'm not wearing my glasses like I usually am. That's because I lost one of the lenses. I think I might been at a party. But I went to that party. I went to the house that the party was at the next day or 
little while after. Look for the lens and couldn't find him. And lately I've been too lazy to book an appointment with the optometrist to get a new prescription and new glasses. But I also need to get a haircut ASAP. That's part of the reason why I bought this Duke, I think. Don't hey, I this shaggy hair that I got going on. It's kind of bad too, because I'm like front desk, so you're expected to have a tidy appearance. <laughs> and I don't really have a tidy appearance right now. I'm gonna shave my face tomorrow, but speaking of tomorrow, I start at 6 a.m. tomorrow and work, but so I'm gonna have to get up really uh, early for that. I had some cow meal tea tonight. Cam meal is supposed to help you sleep, so. But, um. Yeah, but, um. I guess all for now, so thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. Okay, bye.